Hi there, welcome to the course Bony Ethnography. In the next couple of weeks, I'd like you to join us to explore the different aspects of Borneo. Let's see what's waiting for us on the other side. Come on. Covering an area of more than 750,000 square kilometers, Borneo is one of the world's biggest islands. It is politically divided among three countries, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei Darussalam. But a large chunk of this island belongs to Indonesia. They are further divided into five different provinces, West Kalimantan, South Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan, East Kalimantan, and most recently, North Kalimantan. Another 25% of the island's territory belongs to Malaysia, which has two states, Sabah and Sarawak. Historically, Brunei used to rule a third of Borneo's territory. That was 200 years ago. But today, they only rule about 6,000 square kilometers, making it the smallest state in the whole of Borneo. For social scientists like us, Borneo offers cultural diversities. It ranges from people who live in the coastal area all the way up to the shifting cultivators in the inland and also the hunter-gatherers and also the small clusters of communities who live in the highlands. There are more than 200 ethnic groups in Borneo, each of them with different belief system, different culture, different customs, and different social structures. This course will be divided into four learning units. Each learning unit will be further divided into two parts. In part one of learning unit one, we will introduce you to Borneo and its people. In part two, you will be learning about ethnography, its history, and developments today. In learning unit two, you'll be introduced to the concept of culture and how ethnography has developed in Borneo. In this particular learning unit, you will also be introduced to see how ethnography plays a role in defining the social construction of culture. In learning unit three, we'll focus on the methodological aspects of ethnography. In the first part of this learning unit, I will share with you one of the core methodologies in ethnography, fieldwork. In the second part, we will discuss the methods used by anthropologists during ethnographic fieldwork. Finally, in Learning Unit 4, you will learn to apply the various anthropological concepts in order to understand certain cultural phenomena. In this last learning unit, you will also learn how to explain social changes and cultural representations in Borneo societies. My name is Kelvin and I'll be your instructor for this course. And I'm Tracy and we hope to see you again soon.